graph of the given vertex form or quadratic function, the y is equal 1 over 4x plus 5 squared minus 4. So to construct a quickly way is if we uh, create a new parent function, let's say y is equal, I'm taking here the coefficient 1 over 4, the factor 1 over 4, and with x squared. So I'm creating one of basic function. And from this basic function, I'm going to transform into the function that is a given in the vertex form. So now, what I'm trying, I'm trying to find the just three point. If we find the three point, we can graph the parabola. Parabola needs at least the three points to graph a parabola. So now, let me say this is x, and this is y. I'm choosing the point zero because I know it's going to go in the origin. And the other points that I'm going to choose is a four. What is the denominator here? But I'm taking negative four and positive four. And now I'm plugging here in the function. What is going to give me here is zero. If I'm plugging negative four, 16 divided by four is four. And same thing if I'm plugging here, four is going to be 16 divided by four is four. And now, I am sketching those three points in the Cartesian system. Here is a 4, 4. Here is a 4, 4, the other point. And the other point is a minus 4 and 4. And now I'm going to connect to those points. So I already I know this is smooth here in the beginning. And then it is going to continue this way. Same thing I'm going on the other side, I'm going to connect those dots. And now the parabola is going to have this form. But now I need this uh, quadratic function in vertex form to sketch it. How I'm going to do it? First, uh, let's find uh, the vertex. The vertex uh, from the equation here we know is minus 5, h and k minus 5 and minus 4. So this is minus 5 and minus 4. So this is the vertex of the given function. And minus 5 is here, minus 4 is right here, this point. But I'm looking at this point, how they graph it. They went the 4 units to the right and 4 units up. I'm going 4 units to the right and 4 up is right here, this point. Same thing on the left side. 4 points here to the left and 4 points up they went. I'm going 4 points, 4 points to the left and 4 points up. So now I have these points and we can graph uh, the, the graph of the function that is a y, 1 over 4, uh, x plus 5 squared minus 4. So this is a quick, is a very quick way how we can graph it. For example, if we have a if we have uh, uh, the compression, vertical compression, that is 2 over 3, is not so simple 1 over 4 on the denominator, but it's a little bit more complex. Same thing here. We can uh, create, a, let me take a bit of blue one. We can take a one, we can create one apparent function here, which is a 2 over 3. And I know this is a vertical compression because it's a 2 over 3 is a less than 1. So, and 2 over 3 is x squared. So now, let me create a here uh, uh, a, uh, let me find the points. Here is a 0. And again, if I'm choosing here a point, I'm going to choose what is the denominator here. In this case, is a 3. So I'm going to choose a minus 3 and 3. So these two points. And if I'm plugging here 0, is going to be zero. Just let me write here x because I forgot to write and here let me write y. And now if I plug in minus 3 here is going to be 9. 9 times 2 18 divided by 3 is 6. Same thing if I'm plugging here 3. 3 squared is a 9 times 2 18 divided by 3 is 6. And at this point I'm going to graph here in the Cartesian system and I'm going 3 units and 6 up is, here is the other point, and the other point is a 3 I'm going this side, and 3 up is 
six here. I'm sorry, three to the left and a six units up. Three to the right, six units up. And I'm going to graph now this function with the blue, with the blue color. So let let make it a little bit smooth. And the function is going to go this way. It's not a great picture, but I'm trying at least. This way is going the graph. Uh, this, and now I'm looking now how I can how I can sketch the red uh, impact of the quadratic function in vertex form by making graph here. So now let's find the first other vertex. Just let's uh, take other vertex, which is a very easy. Here is a vertex is a three three. So h is a three and k is a three. And now I'm I will uh, sketch of the vertex is a three units here and three units up is right here but now as i said uh, how i get to the other points is a three units to the right and three units six units up i'm going three units here to the to the right and three units up is here is one two three four five six so it's six units and same thing I'm going from this point I'm going to three units to the to the other side and those are the points and now I'm just a graphing with a red let me try here a red and this is the transformation of the of the new parent function that is going to go this way and on the other side I'm connecting those two points and we already graphed it for very quick way, for a very quick time. But what happened is not a vertical stretch. When it's so not, a, for example, a vertical compression. When we have a vertical stretch, what's going to happen? And let's say four is uh, negative four in absolute value is greater than one, so it means we have a vertical stretch. So in this case, again, I'm going to create a parent function, a new parent function to say because parent function we already know is x squared but I'm creating one new parent function which is a is a minus 4 x squared so this is the function what I would take I what I would choose and of course we are taking here a three points we want to cut to get the three points but which points we get here when we are working with the stretching is a little bit different rules when I'm choosing the point, I'm choosing zero the same way. But here, in all the cases, I'm choosing minus one and one. I don't need other points. If I'm choosing a zero, it's going to be zero. But minus one, if I'm plugging in here, is going to be one. One times minus four is minus four. Same thing is if I'm plugging in one, it's going to be one. One square is one, and the time minus four is minus four. And I'm sketching these points. Here is a zero, and I'm going one to the left and four down. So here is the point, and here one to the right, and minus four. One to the right, minus four is here. And now if we are plugging here the new function, which is parent function, which is a uh, this one, and is is an arrow function. And this, uh, this is going to be something this way. So this is uh, the new parent function, but we want to graph uh, the fun function that is in vertex form. How we can graph it? So first, uh, let the same way what we did before. We find uh, the vertex, which is a uh, five and negative three. Five and negative three and we are going to sketch this point to find the point where it is is a five and a negative three so it's five here and negative three is this point here right here but i'm looking here what did i do here have we have we found this point i'm going to the right one point and four point down one point here and four point down four uh, four units down one unit two three four so we already have here and the other side is uh, equidistant and now we can grab it and 
and let me try to grab this side and the other side is is this way so this is the graph that uh, represents the quadratic equation in vertex 4 minus 4 times x minus 5 square minus 3.